Sup everybody, hello and welcome to my video that talks about how you can build a system that uh, virtually uses any remote control as its input to control pretty much anything in your room. Um, it can be lights, fans, the home theater in my particular case. So for demonstrating this, I have a simple remote controller that issues IR signals of the Sony protocol. And I'm going to use this to control my lights, fan, and a uh, music system. Okay, so how does this all work? Well, before that, this is how the video is broken up. You guys can like check it out. So why would you choose to do a project like this? Um, what's the real idea? Why would you want something like this in your room? You probably have a bunch of remote controllers lying around and, and analog switches to turn on the lights and fans so why not unify everything into one remote let's go ahead and get right to this all right so this is pretty much the same setup i used for my previous project but i removed the bluetooth module so uh, the things you need for this project is fairly simple you just need an arduino board in this case i used an arduino which arduino which shares quite a bit of similarities to the Arduino um, so you will need a TSOP IR receiver uh, I connected this to pin A1 or pin 15 then you'd need an IR transmitter so that's off screen following this brown and black wire so that's connected to pin 14 or A0 you will need a couple of relays uh, they are connected to pin 10, 11 and 12 of the Arduino uh, you can even do with one and these are connected to the mains so in case you are planning to do this project yourself please get the help of your electrician or someone because this stuff can be quite dangerous okay so what's so special about this project I'm using a single remote to control the lights the fans and my Philips music system so this is the music system and just showing you that it is Philips because uh, this is the original remote that comes with the uh, you know the home theater but uh, this is what I'm going to use I got this off a local hardware store it sends Sony IR commands so I'm going to use this to control that and the lights and fans okay so what do you guys need to do first head over to github so the links in the description below well first you'll need to download the Arduino IR remote library so and uh, you know uh, install the library before you go ahead and go to secret wall hack I don't know get give me that name for this project so anyway go ahead and download zip which is at the bottom right so once you save that you could extract it right here all right now you'll find the sketch inside this go ahead and open that click ok and uh, all right so to make sense of this let's first start at void setup so you can see we're just initializing the receiver with this command it's a library function and then we are setting these three pins to be outputs so that's pretty straightforward uh, once you enter void loop you will notice that we are first listening to the receiver and in case anything does turn up it is storing it in this result variable after decoding so depending on that we use I'm using the switch case statement and uh, so if you get a value C10 or oh, 0x basically means it's in hexadecimal so if you get C10 you just turn on pin 11 so that'll send 5 volts to the relay and in turn the relay will turn on the light so this would turn off the light turn on the fan turn off the fan turn on the other fan turn off the other one All right so okay I'm using pins 11 12 and 13 but uh, you can go ahead and use whatever you like Alright, so this is uh, 
the power button on that Sony remote and once I send that single IR command I'm doing a series of things you can see I'm making the code wait a bit and this is the code to turn on the system right so just sending that three times protocol and after you do that it's just setting the base and volume so I'll, I'm going to show you how that works in the demo and uh, once it's done break out of the loop and continue listening so that's pretty much how all this works so let's go ahead and see how it's done First of all, I want to thank you guys for that overwhelming response for that previous project I completed. It was also really encouraging on my part to see you guys actually go for it and build your own system. And, uh, and I was really happy to see a, a lot of successes. One thing I noticed, however, was that I was answering a lot of doubts. A lot of similar questions came to me and uh, it was getting a little difficult to answer all of them. So I set up this community on Facebook called that Arduino guy so be sure to go and post your comments there and in case the question has been asked before you can find it in the archives so this time I have to particularly thank Targeto he modified Ken Sheriff's IR library uh, and made it really useful for the project I just did here and thank you guys once again for tuning in be sure to like subscribe and share this video if you really like what you saw. Alright, so I'll see you guys later.